put your check. No. Oh, well, I'm going to have a dog on my lap. Send him to the camera. Send him to the camera. Good hey. boy. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Black Overland, episode 3, in my last um, video, I teased on what these are going to be used for, and I am going to be installing these in the trailer as a lighting system. These are audio jacks, male and female audio jacks. Um, my plan is to put an external lighting system um, that you can connect and disconnect via these. These are fairly inexpensive, um, but provide a good connection make it really easy to connect and disconnect lights. I've got up to four external lights running at any time. That's why I've got a four-way splitter. So join me and I'll show you how I do this installation. If you have any comments or advice, please feel free to drop a comment and also like and subscribe. I'd appreciate the support. Enjoy the video. All that we need for this installation is a soldering iron, some twin flex, two core twin flex, uh, these audio jacks, male and female, an audio jack splitter, I have a four-way splitter, some terminals, and an extra cable. So similar to the lighting that I did in my first video, um, where I connected everything through here, I'm going to use one of these two positive ports for this light. This is actually one of two lights that go externally, the other one's a scorpion light which I'll do in another video. Um, so I'll just connect a terminal to the positive and to the negative and then run it through probably uh, that hole out the box through a grommet just because this one's getting a bit full now with the inverter cable and the main power inlet there so let's run it out here uh, then I'll run it down uh, the bottom of the trailer then we'll run the length of the trailer and what I've got at the back down here so here's the back of the trailer a bit of overexposure there um, there is a Getting on the floor, excuse me for a second. There is a firewall in there, the bottom of the trailer. And that is for the LED light system, which then comes out in the tail light of the trailer. They come out over here. So what I'll do is I'll run a cable all the way through the inside of the trailer, out that firewall, and it'll come out the back here, where I will connect the audio jack. The single audio jack will just hang out here. I'll probably just cable tie it down. And then whenever I need to connect uh, the lights, I'll put in that four-way splitter directly onto there. Very simple installation, it didn't take me too long. So I had to, I had to get it through that grommet. Um, I was incorrectly calling a firewall. I meant to say a firewall grommet earlier. Uh, anyway, uh, that is made out of, that grommet is actually just a big blob of Seekerflex, which is very, very um, hard, indestructible, um, adhesive almost. So what I did is I just made a, like a needle out of a piece of graphite rod that I had and I uh, made, put some um, insulation tape on and I stuck the two twin flex wires to that and almost threaded it through like a needle. Now I'll just undo the tape and then I can pull the wires all the way through that grommet. Okay, so the twin flex that I pulled through the grommet isn't quite long enough. So I'm going to extend it. What I do is when I cut the positive and the negative, I just cut them with about an inch between them. That way, when it comes to connecting the opposite positive and opposite negative together, and you solder the, the copper together, there's no way of the two copper um, wires touching. It's just the rubber. So there's no chance of it short circuiting. Then I, well, before I start soldering, I'll put a heat shrink over. Um, that way it'll just seal it nicely and um, you know if you've sold it properly this connection will be just as strong as the original um, before it, uh, well an, an unconnected wire basically okay so there you have it uh, soldered uh, with the sh heat shrink you can see that's nice and firm um, the heat shrink just makes it firstly makes it look a little bit neater but it also just provides a level of insulation around the wire, kind of like insulation tape would. Um, so this is a, 
going to also then be run through some percolate, percolated, perfor, perforated. What's it called? What is it called? So in summary, um, I have connected the external lights to this switch here. So again, um, the power is from the, um, the bus board here to the switch to the lead for the external lights and it's fused. So it's fused by this uh, bus board here. Uh, it comes through this flange, down through the corrugated sleeving, and then to the back of the trailer down there, which then comes through that grommet at the bottom. So it runs out here through there. Just need to clean up that cable tar, and then through here to this audio jack. Alright, so from that audio jack, I just take my splitter here, connect that to that jack, it just simply plugs in. Then what I've got is I've made up these extension leads um, with male and female um, jacks. So this side is the male jack, there's your female jack. Now these are perfect for low amp connection. So for anything like this where you're running low amp draw LED lights, these are really a nice simple way just to make connections. See that? Just plug it in. Right. Take the other end of the lead, get your light, plug it into your light. And there we go. Um, just cl clips on. So it's really quite a simple way of just having a removable lighting system that you can move and put anywhere you want. I've got four of these that I've made up. Um, they've got magnets on the back of them. So anything that's uh, ferrous metal as an iron, you can just uh, slap them to. Um, so I've got ones of different size. Some I've put um, at the bra. I've got one for the bra. I've got another one that fits um, under the main awning and then I've got two other loose ones which I can put anywhere I want so like when we're at um, uh, the Delta last year um, the girls were a bit nervous of, of animals big animals so I have a long lead it's about 15-20 uh, meters I took that one out and I put it against um, a tree and it's just to provide a little bit of extra light out there so the girls could see if there were any hyenas and stuff uh, patrolling the camp so yeah, that's my system. Um, having the four, the, the splitter of four, gives me quite a bit of flexibility. Um, and having this main um, jack coming through this grommet means that I don't have to worry about any water ingress or anything. So I've just cable tied it to the base of this plate over here where the tail leads are wired through. Um, and I'll probably just try and find like a little cap that I can put over the end of that to keep dust and grit and stuff from getting in there because while you're traveling I, I see there is a little bit of um, it's that dust from those Botswana roads that comes up here so I want to just keep that a bit clean so I'll find something that covers that other than that that's pretty much it um, quite a simple installation so that was relatively simple um, it doesn't take much expertise to do an installation like that with the audio jack system um, if you found this helpful Please like and leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. And um, I think in my next video what I'll do is I'll take you through a tour of the trailer, what I've done already in terms of modifications and what some of my future modifications are. I'm just waiting now for lockdown to end so I can buy some crucial equipment. And as soon as I've got that then I can carry on. So like and subscribe, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time on Black Overland. Cheers.